Hey guys, uh, Jack Lair here with a pickups video. Uh, I've had a good luck uh, the last little bit and decided to share with you guys some stuff that I picked up. Uh, first place I went is a local resale donation place and I was wandering around and saw this kind of a normal looking boring controller but if you've looked at one of my last videos I found a uh, other games that had the and you can't see it it's, it looks like a Genesis plug a noble uh, but the last time I picked one up I found out that it was part of the weird knockoff thing so I looked a little further and found power joy now uh, it does work and for those of you who don't know what a power joy is they were kind of Nintendo knockoffs but the good thing about this one is that if I've done all my research correct, this is a Famicom slot. So I should be able to play Famicom games relatively cheaply considering I just paid uh, four bucks for both of those. If I'm wrong on that, please someone let me know before I actually start buying them. Uh, swung by a Goodwill and managed to pick up uh, Perfect Dark for the Nintendo 64. Don't have a 64, but Perfect dark. Had to get in. Um, also, I had been. Uh, I loved the Dreamcast, and I had one ages ago, but I had to get rid of it because uh, I needed to go to my college classes. And Movie Trading Company had uh, sells them for thirty bucks. So walked in there and said, "Hey." No, here's what I want. And he's like, oh, is there anything you know I, else I can help you get? And I'm like, well, you know, if you happen to have a black one, kind of jokingly. Uh, and he goes up and he's looking through the boxes because it's kind of slow there. And the, the guys there don't know anything about video games, at least at mine. And he goes up there and he's like, no, I didn't have a black one, but I have this blue one. And it was all I could do not to skip around the store. Now, uh, either this is a case mod, in which case, cool, it's a blue Dreamcast. Or, it's the uh, EB version, which is kind of rare. Um, I don't know how to tell the difference, so any advice? It is missing the Dreamcast decal, and it has no stickers. Which leads me towards case mod, but the little thingy are still there so I don't know uh, luckily enough it does have the uh, I don't know if you can see not a chance but it's got uh, there are two different kinds of modems for the Dreamcast and the one with the A is the one that you can actually hook up to a computer and just do uh, get online that way so I can still play with anybody else who's out there that's still playing it. Uh, came with a controller and a memory card, no VMU, but mm, I can live without the VMU. Uh, came with two games, uh, 18 Wheeler, which is actually a fun driving game where you actually drive a big rig. Completely ridiculous over the top, uh, kind of looks like it was made by the Hot Shots guy. And the other one is Max Steel. Uh, still not sure how I feel about that one, but uh, I would shocked that the the graphics held up as well as it did um, the other thing is I went to a, re, a resale shop that's called a 24 hour or seven day garage sale is what it's called and the first thing I picked up was a Velveeta little box because I can't remember who did it but somebody on YouTube showed that these were perfect size for Game Boy games. So that'll help out. Uh, saw this, which is a uh, G.I. Joe Sigma case. And excuse the noise. It's got a nice case, so I think I might throw my uh, GBA games in there. Game Boy Advance. Um, also found uh, the Nyko Intercooler for the 360 for the old white one. It's got a little pass through switch, three fans. I'm gonna give this to my nephew who his 360 died many times, repaired, finally died, gave him mine. Uh, so, Chris, this is yours if you want it. If you don't, 
you know, I don't, I don't, know, don't know what I'll do with it. But uh, my son spotted this little guy. Which, let me see if I can move this. This is a little Pikachu. I don't know. Made my son happy. We're all into Pokemon here. I'm currently playing through uh, Pokemon Yellow again, which is one of the meanest Pokemon starting ones, in my opinion. Uh, also at the same spot, picked up, uh, I'm guessing this is anime, but it's uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I don't read Japanese, so I have no clue what it says. And I haven't popped it in yet. Um, TV series collection. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in my other video, I showed that I picked up uh, Pizza Hut demo discs for the PS1. And I picked up some of the U.S. PlayStation Magazine ones. I uh, can't get there. And they're just nice to have around. Uh, also picked up Tiny Tank. Which made me pretty happy because... I remember playing this long, long time ago, and it was really fun. So I look forward to playing it again, giving it a shot. And as I mentioned, I didn't have uh, a 64. And I'm wandering around in here, and I come across this. Nintendo 64. Okay. I know to check now. Look in there, memory card. Okay, we got the memory unit. Uh, put it back on. But, no cables. But, I look around a little bit more, and I find this bad boy. Which is another 64, with the cables. Ignore the phone. Ugh, hate recording live. Anyways, not gonna edit that out, just ignore it. Um, but, so I got the cables, got everything else, got all of the stuff that you can see, 17 bucks. Not a bad haul. Not bad for 17 bucks. These alone are going to run you more than that. And like I, uh, I've mentioned in earlier videos that 64s are kind of scarce in Dallas. Lately, at least from what I've seen. I mean, every time I go in, they're like, oh, we had one last week, but it's gone. Somebody came in and bought it. Oh. So I'm all sad. Uh, the l One other quick thing. Uh, I'm building my own arcade stick for the Sega Genesis, and I needed joysticks. So I went to the Pinball Expo, uh, that they hold here in Dallas every year, and I'll throw a link below. And they have three days where they bring in all kinds of pinball games. And most of the pinball games are for sale, some are collectors, they have parts, they have pinballs, uh, boards, plates, lights, anything you can imagine having to do with pinball and arcade games in one spot. It's absolutely amazing if you're ever in Dallas and you get a chance to go see it. Uh, we went there on Saturday, took my eight-year-old son and I, shot a whole bunch of video of us playing the different uh, games. Uh, Monster Bash, uh, like four different Star Trek pinballs that I only knew two of them, and the cheapest pinball game ever, Black Knight. Black Knight, for those of you who don't know, okay, really quick aside. Uh, you know how you pull a plunger back and you launch the ball and it's supposed to play? If the Black Knight, if if you pull, launch the ball and you don't put the hit the flipper, it'll go straight down. And it doesn't like rescue the ball like the later ones will. No, no. Gone. Anyways, uh, but I got those controllers, five bucks. Uh, and the last order of business, because I now have the ability to play Famicom games, I want suggestions on what Famicom game I should get. I have... How to phrase this? What I want is a game that was not released in the United States on, on the NES, 
that is not super rare. So I want I want a game that I haven't played that won't cost me a fortune. So uh, either uh, go ahead and write the suggestions down below. That way I can kind of look through them as things go on. Or if you're really ambitious and you really love a certain Famicom game and you think I should play it, find a YouTube uh, YouTube video of it. And then that way I can just go there and look at it. Alright, that's been my pickups. Thank you very much.